Normally I do these videos for you. I do a video a day. I've done it. It's going on three years every day. But this video is for me. No, this video is for my kids and my grandkids because I'm going to show you today how I'm going to turn $48,000 into $8 million, and I'm pretty well damn sure it's going to happen and I want you to learn about it as well because I've discovered something. I've, I've dug deep enough. I've come to understand the medical world, the change in our world, the, the medical cure revolution, how important it is, how medical cure is going to become the number one priority of this country, of this nation, of this world, and Microsoft is going to be a big part of it as they move us into the metaverse. I saw this on TV. I need to share it with you because I'm doing this for me. Best of Us Investors presents Kerry Griegmeier. I believe the most important thing I can do as a long-term investor is pay attention to what's going on in the world around me, to expose myself to new information, to watch documentaries, to watch news programs, to watch 60 Minutes, to see what they're going, they, they have found that I need to know. And last night I was watching a show and uh, it was about a position that Microsoft is taking in the medical field, in, in the metaverse world, and how they're bringing the two together. And, and it blew me away. And it, it said, this is pro so progressive. I need to share this. And I need to double down on my commitment to Microsoft. So I want you to see this. Mark Griswold may appear to be by himself, but this Case Western Reserve professor is not alone. So this is a brain simulation of a patient. This is the virtual room Griswold is in. And those three blue heads around him, they are avatars for world-class surgeons. They're thousands of miles apart, but together they're working to revolutionize healthcare as they gather around a 3D rendering of a brain to map out a complex surgery. This kind of consultation used to take days of video calls. Now, using HoloLens technology from Microsoft... Did you hear what he just said? This is a product of Microsoft called HoloLens. Watch this a little bit more. It takes perhaps an hour. And it's not just a whole new virtual world for surgery. What you can see now is that we've got a skeleton oh, with us wow. in the room here. To see the nerves and how they bundle together inside the spine. Here's what I'm seeing through my headset. You can look at the chest, you can look at the face. It's a new way to teach anatomy that doesn't involve costly cadavers. At Case Western Reserve School of Medicine, researchers have found these virtual models help medical students learn twice as fast and keep the knowledge longer. And as this technology becomes more widely available, so will this knowledge, even beyond medical school. School. You'll have high school students arriving with a medical student's command of anatomy if they want it. Exactly. And that's the power of this kind of technology. They could do this at any high school in America as long as they've got a Wi-Fi signal. So here we're just looking at the muscular system. For developing nations, community colleges, even nursing programs where this sort of training may have been off limits, now virtual learning is democratizing what has been an elite understanding of the human body. Okay. I hope you came away from that as, as I did. As I have dug deeper into Microsoft's work in HoloLens, I recognize that, the, yeah, they're going to be a part of the metaverse, and yeah, they're going to bring offices together and people together uh, for business meetings and things of that nature, but they're going into the medical field. And I know from my experience, from my readings over the last four years, is that the big change in our world world is going to come in the form of the medical field. So I'm focusing on the companies that I believe that are going to take me there. Yesterday's video, I talked about Amazon and Google, Apple, but and I also mentioned Microsoft, but this is just adding to it. And that's what I want to do in the subsequent videos that I'm going to do, is speak directly to where these four companies are going to find themselves in the future. But first, let's visit 
the Excel spreadsheet that I created. I showed you this to, to you yesterday and see how they got to where they are now and why I am so convinced that they will maintain this pace into the future and why I believe that I can take my current holdings of about $300,000 and turn them into massive holdings over the next 20 years. Okay, this is the uh, Excel spreadsheet that I showed you yesterday where I tracked the uh, average rate of return since IPO on Apple, Microsoft, Amazon, and Google. And then I did a breakout of it specifically from 08 through today. And that rep that's represented in these two numbers here. Uh, the yellow on Apple, 35%, represents their average rate of return since IPO. The 42% represents their average rate of return since 2008, or the last major correction that we had. And I did that, as I say, on Apple, Microsoft, Amazon, and Google. And what I'm focusing on today is that of Microsoft. And as you can see, uh, since IPO in 87, Microsoft had an average rate of return per year of 33%. Since 08, 09, it has had the last uh, correction of 27%. So, um, and, and I want to concentrate, as I say, on Microsoft because I don't think a lot of people recognize where Microsoft is, where it's going in the metaverse, and in fact, where it's going relative to the medical care revolution. And I believe that's the biggest change that we're going to see in our, in our world in the next 10 years. So I wanted to concentrate that if they get a 27% return, I currently have $48,000 invested in Microsoft, and uh, I'm anticipating that I'm going to be putting uh, $6,000 a year into these four stocks, um, so that would be $1,500 into each one. And I wanted to concentrate, as I say, on Microsoft, and you can see uh, at 27%, what I'm doing now is going to increase or grow if I live to 98 to eight million dollars. My 48,000 plus um, $1,500 a year. And the reason I did this is as I learned more about uh, Microsoft's movements into uh, the metaverse and then into the video I showed you about the surgery, uh, and the, 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 the adaptation of the meta, medical, metaverse to uh, the medical field, I, I'm asking myself, should I put more into Microsoft than, than these others? And that's what I want to do in this video and subsequent videos. And I want to ask you, do you think I should overweight Microsoft? Or do you have reasons why you think it should be Google, uh, Amazon, or Apple? I want to explore these stocks and, and come to a better understanding of how one might outperform the other, and I'm soliciting your help. Now, you also notice I'm wearing my Moomoo t-shirt. Uh, Moomoo is offering some free stocks. If you want to open an account with them, I'll go into that in a little bit more detail. Uh, so, but this is where I just moved some money into Moomoo, uh, and this is where I'm going to maybe uh, put a little bit more into Microsoft other than in my normal E-Trade account. Now that means I got to live to 97 or 98 years old, but I'm going to work real hard on it and do my part on it. What I'm going to ask you to do is do your part, and that is to feed me more information, to share more information that you have about this revolution that we're going to experience in the medical world. How are you going to do that? Well, join our community. That is our Discord. Go into the description and find the link to the Discord, or just go to the website, Best of Us Investors. And if we will work together, if if I'll watch my TV programs and I'll pick up on things like I just shared with you, and you'll do the same thing, and you'll find videos, and you'll find uh, pieces, uh, information about the, the companies that are going to change our world, we can win this game of investing 
in, in, at, at such a level that I can turn $48,000 into $8 million. It's It's that easy. Just don't invest in the present. Invest in the future. And then put time on your side. And then put the the investment vehicles on your side. Learn about a Roth IRA. My goodness, if you're in your 20s and you haven't started a Roth IRA, put write that down right now. Start a Roth IRA immediately and invest in the future. Never invest in the present. This is the direction I want to take you. This is what I want to share with you, my knowledge. I want to share with you something as simple as Moomoo. Moomoo is a, a app. I used to have to trade uh, uh, down at, at the Merrill Lynch office where I would have to sit down with a broker. Then I advanced to E-Trade that I can do it on my desktop. Now I can do it on my phone. I can open my phone up. And in fact, I did just this morning. I bought some Palantir stock because it's down. I just went in here. I had some money sitting in the account. I made the order. I didn't have to get to my computer. I could do it on my phone. And the wonderful thing, Moomoo wants your business so bad that they're going to give you free stocks. They'll give you one stock when you open the account with as little as $100. If you take it up to $1,000, they give you more. If you take it up to $2,000, and I don't know why you wouldn't, uh, they'll give you 10 free stocks. I think it's eight or 10, but look at it. And then do your reading, do your studying, and recognize what's happening in our world. It is changing and that's to your advantage. If it doesn't change, nothing grows exponentially. But I believe I'm in the right place with $300,000 in Microsoft, Apple, Google, Amazon. With those four stocks, I can make myself and my heirs multimillionaires. And I think you can do it as well. Stick with me. Do me a favor. Give me a thumbs up. Leave a comment as to what you think is going to be the future, and then subscribe. And then come visit us at our uh, Discord. I'll talk to you again tomorrow. Mm-hmm.